morning. Kim and Billy with you here this morning on Wiregrass Homestead and we're out and about early this morning. We have to run to town and we're looking for a riding lawnmower. So we have a tractor uh, that Billy just recently got. It's an old tractor um, and we have some implements. We have a mower implement that uh, Billy found at one of the farm auctions not too long ago. So we can use that on the uh, larger, more wide open spaces of the homestead property, but we have an area in the front yard that is, um, we've got some trees planted, and so it's not going to be easy to get around them with this tractor mower, so we needed a smaller mower. When we were in Missouri, we had a push mower, which worked well for our needs there because we had a small, much smaller yard, um, but we ended up that to your mom or something yeah. yeah so we gave that whoops we gave that to Billy's mom whenever uh, we moved because we knew that if we needed a mower down here more than likely we would want a riding mower because the property is so large so anyway that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go get a riding mower um, we have a friend down here Billy met a guy named Danny who works on lawn mowers and other small engine equipment type stuff so he was talking to Danny about what the best one uh, the best type of mower, uh, best brand of mower, and he said it was a Poland Poland Pro. Poland Pro. So he says they're a lot easier to work on and easier maintenance, that kind of thing. So that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, if he works on uh, lawn mowers, you know, you get to see things that come in. If you constantly see the same lawn mowers come in to get fixed, then you know that those aren't good lawn mowers. You know, it's the ones you don't see very often that are probably some of the better mowers. So we want to get a brand new one because it will have a warranty and we'll probably purchase the extended warranty on it so that if there are any major issues um, then that'll be covered. Well this is our lawn mower. This is the Poland Pro. Uh, 19 horsepower 42 inch cut and the price on it was $11.99 and Home Depot has uh, with their, if you get financing through them, it's six months, no interest. So that won't be a problem for us to pay that off in six months. And since we opened up a Home Depot account, uh, we got $100 off. We paid for the uh, extended warranty protection. So that added a couple hundred dollars, I think, onto it. But it's a nice looking mower. Seat fits well and it's comfortable. So Billy's just strapping it in and then we'll get it home. It's just a play lawnmower. It doesn't seem to have a lot of the fancy things I guess that some of the other ones do, but that's fine while that runs and it... Uh, I just needed to cut grass. Yeah, we yeah. just needed to cut grass. And that, the way I look at it, it doesn't have a lot of those fancy features. Guess what? Then those fancy features aren't going to break. Yeah. You know, I just want something plain. I want something that's going to do what it needs to do, which is mow the grass and... You know, if somebody else wants all those fancy features, that's fine, but... Well, and this was one of, I mean, it was definitely more affordable than, um, like, the John Deere tractor that looked, or the lawnmower that looked just like it. That was, like, $1,900. Yeah, this one was $1,100, then with the $100 off. Yeah. The smaller ones had 17 and a half horsepower, and this one has 19. Yeah. But I think the um, mower deck size... Is that what it's called, the mower deck? Probably. Was about the same, the yeah. 42 inches or something like that? Yeah, I'd really get the one with a little bit more horsepower. I think it's just going to struggle less. Probably less wear and tear then. Uh-huh. You know, on the engine. So, yeah, I'll have to just mow with it a little bit and see what we want. It's actually been a while. Last summer, I, I used Mom's John Deere to mow a little bit of her backyard for her. But I really haven't used that many uh, riding lawnmowers, so I'm actually not a good person to do a comparison of this versus something else. All I can do is compare this to pushing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Push we'll do that. that then. We'll compare and we'll see which one you liked better, which one was easier, which one was quicker. <laughs> well, I'll tell you right now, I don't even have to ride this. I can tell you that during those long, wide stretches, this is going to be better. But whenever you're talking about like right around a tree or something like that, yeah, the push, you know, mower the push would be mower better. mower is better. And so, but I think the way we have, I mean, especially the trees, They've got that mulching bunch around it. You should be able to get pretty close with that. Yeah, 
yeah, it, it won't be bad, but yeah, we'll probably have to have. I mean, a, we've got the weed eater. A so. weed eater to go around to get what this does. And this turn radius on this is 16 inches. So uh, that's not bad from at least what I've read. Yeah. And uh, so, I mean, no, I think we're going to be definitely happy with it. You know, if, 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 if price wasn't a factor, if somebody just went out and said, hey, just pick you one, I, you know, I probably would have picked something else if price wasn't an option. But, uh, you know, if you uh, weighing in all the factors, I don't know how you can, how you could really beat this. I mean, well, it seems to have the warranty from our friend, what he was talking about with, with the, with the mower, I mean, with the engine and all of that. I mean, he rec this is what he recommended. So, yeah. And I mean, there's fancier lawnmowers, of course, those zero turns, those look sharp, but gosh, those are like $2,000. Yeah, two, $3,000. And you know, I don't, I don't want. I don't want something like that. Yeah, we I mean, it'd be nice that. to have, like I said, if you if somebody just said, hey, you can take anything you want on here, you know, that's probably what I'd take with some of those zero radius ones. But, you know, money's a huge factor, you know, and if you're trying to do things on a budget, you know, you're trying to stretch your dollars as much as you can, you know, that's what you, that's what you got to try to do. And I've, I've seen just as many, actually, I've probably seen just as many horror stories with some of the other lawnmowers, you know, the other brand names that everybody knows you know people mm -hmm. say hey i had this and after so many months but you know when i guess whenever they're going through a factory like that you know there's always going to be some lemons or you're always going to have something not put together right or something not right and so i i mean whenever you've got thousands or millions of lawnmowers coming off a year you're going to have some bad ones you know so i don't know a lot of it just is how well does a company take care of you whenever something like that happens do they try to make ex excuses or do they try to fix it so I mean, that's what really a warranty boils down to, you know, it's, are they going to make excuses or are they going to try to make it right? So. What did you think about the lawnmower after your first use? I like it. Would you rather use a push mower? Have you met me? Yes. <laughs> Do you think your mom could probably use this? Do you oh, think it's yeah. easy enough? She mowed her grass for years, her house in Rolla. <clears throat> of course, your mom doesn't have to, but if she wants to come out and, you know, earn her keep a little bit and do a little bit you know if we're busy doing stuff or busy working or yeah, whatever and yeah, she feels like coming out and doing a little bit she could be easy okay so that is our our little lawn mower pp19a42 yeah and that's the, the model. model number P but it's got this neat little can holder right here that's nifty to have and it's got a a little hole for a hitch yeah if you had a little garden cart or mm -hmm. a small utility trailer, you plug it up there. Yeah, for the money, it's definitely good. Uh, yeah. You know, I think compared to maybe some of the competitors that are a little bit higher, it's, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, of course, like I said, I was kinda, I'm kind of ignorant because I haven't really driven uh, a lot of tractors, lawn I mean, lawn mowers. Riding mowers. Riding mowers, you but didn't have one when you were a kid. No, we always had push, push. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like it. So right now I'm giving it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. We've only had it for a day. A day. <laughs> yeah. But we'll see how it goes. But um, thanks for watching our video. We always appreciate your views. And if you feel so inclined, please like and comment and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Bye.